So today I'm going to be telling you about what your zodiac sign is like inside of prison. If you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Christina. Whenever I was 21, I was sentenced to three years prison in the state of Florida. So I'm going to tell you guys all about yourself via your zodiac sign and what you would be like inside of prison real quick. Just want to let you guys know that this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not an astrologist. I do not study the stars. This is just for fun. So don't get your panties in a bunch. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know. Y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. Today is indeed my 21st birthday. Yay! Plus 14, which would really be 35. It's my 35th birthday, but hey, who's counting? <laughs> but anyways, I am actually 35 today and I feel really great. If you guys are new here, hi. But for everybody else that already knows me, you guys know that I honestly did not even think that I would live to be like, 25 or 30 the life that I lived whenever I was younger. I am so very grateful and very blessed to even have made it 35 years Girls 35 and let me tell you right now if you guys have not watched my video about your 30s I'm here the, the 30s is popping when I tell you guys the 30s is popping The 30s okay, okay y'all grandma's getting too crazy now listen I do not want anybody to get mad. I love you guys. I love y'all with everything in me from the core to the core to the middle of the core, okay? I love you guys. But I'm gonna tell you all about yourself today via your zodiac sign. I'm gonna tell you guys what your personality is like inside of prison, okay? Don't be mad. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. <laughs> it ain't, okay, we, okay. Let's just get right on into it. Aries. You get to prison, you are gonna know an Aries right from the get-go because this is them. They they can't hide their feelings, but they wanna hide their feelings. So it feels like you got mine. Okay, now you're friends with an Aries, right? They are gonna be pouting and what, when they're mad, they don't wanna tell you that they're mad. No, mm -mm. They, 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 they can't hide their feelings, but they don't really know how to communicate it with you the way that they want to. So it feels like you're in a friendship or a relationship in prison with somebody playing mind games with you. They'll beat around the bush about what's wrong with them instead of just spitting it out and telling you it makes you crazy, okay? And they're hard-headed. So they are just gonna be stubborn and stick with like, you just like, just tell me what is wrong. What is wrong? Now, who, who took your cookies off your bed? Who, what, what did they do? Who put their foot on your bed? Just tell me. Don't point your elbow. Don't sneeze in that direction. Just tell me. And they don't want to tell you. They'll make you crazy with that in there, okay? Taurus. I can't, listen. I love y'all, but y'all are too doggone stubborn and hard-headed. When you are in prison with a Taurus <laughs> and they want to go to chow, Oh, you go into you go into chow. That's what it is. They are stuff. They are hard headed. They are so stubborn and so determined to do what they want. It's a Taurus way or a no way. Okay. If you are best friends with Taurus and you're in prison and you want to make a burrito and they want to make a cake, you are making a cake, honey. You ain't. You better put that burrito. Put your soups up. Put your Cheetos back in your bin. Do all that because the Taurus is going to tell you what it is and what time it is. If the Taurus wants you to go to breakfast and give you their coffee cake, you go in to give them your coffee cake because they, they want what they want when they want it. There is no middle ground with a Taurus. It is their way or the highway. Gemini's in prison. I'm married to a Gemini. Oh, I know the Gemini's very well. And when I say Gemini's, I mean Gemini. I mean both of y'all. 
There is two of y'all. When you are in prison with a Gemini, you're going to know exactly who it is because it's two different people sleeping in the same doggone bed. You don't know who that person is until they get up in the morning. And it's almost like their face changes when they change from Gemini 1 to Gemini 2. Okay? Gemini 1 is the life of the party, boy. They will talk. They'll tell you all kinds of stories, boy. They are so happy and la, la, la. But when they switch over to Gemini 2... Baby, you better watch out. Don't be coming down the hallway on the way to the bathroom or on the way to your bunk and bump their shoulder because they are going to go off on you. Gemini 2 is not to be played with in prison. Gemini 1 will be your best friend. But when they roll up in the morning and they got on Gemini 2, back up. Back up. You don't want you don't want none of that. I promise you. A cancer Y'all cancers and pray you can let me tell you something if you're a cancer I, I can tell who you are in the county jail in the holding tank You want to know why because the cancers is always the one crime. They sitting over there crying. They're upset Lord Lord the world done done them so wrong They're crying when they're in jail. They're crying on the way to prison. They're crying in prison They're crying in the middle of their sentence. You already been here seven years. Why are you still crying about it? they just always crying and let me tell you something Cancers like to control, right? They want to have their comfort zone. They want to come home to their house. They want to come home to, they want to lock their door behind them. They want to have their favorite snuggly blanket. They like the routine, right? They know what to expect. They get up in the morning, they have their dog on Frosted Flakes, they da 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 da, they go to work, whatever. When they're in prison and they don't have none of that, oh Lord, it is an emotional hurricane. You know who the cancers are. Good Lord, I have mighty. They will stress you out about it. They are worried about every doggone thing that they cannot control. Like, girlfriend, it does not matter. We're having beanie weenies tonight. We're not having fried chicken. Why are you crying about it? And they think everybody hates them too. Everybody hates them when they really don't. And the biggest thing that bothers the cancers when they're in prison is they can't cuddle. There ain't no love. There ain't no affection. They, they just, they are the babies. They are the babies in prison. Leos. Y'all don't come for me. I know y'all typing something up right now. Y'all are mad at me right now because Leo's got to be in control. They got to be the head of everything, okay? When you are in prison and you see a Leo, you know exactly who it is. They're the ones walking around with their chest proud. They got to be the best at everything. They got to be the best at sports. They got to be the first in line. They got to be the smartest, the strongest, the everything because they are the Leos. They are funny. They are confident. They are smart. They are witty. They are the whole entire package so much that it will get on your nerves when you're in prison. Like like, dang, can I get first in line for once? Nope, nope, not if it's a Leo in line with you. Like, doggone, can I win the football tournament? Like, can I, what, can I, can I be the pitcher this time in softball? Like, why do you got to do everything? Because they're the Leos. So the one that's completely in the head of everything all the time, that's the Leo. The Virgos in prison. <laughs> you, listen. My baby boy is a Virgo. My mother-in-law is a Virgo. But let me tell you about the Virgos. If you go to prison, you will know which one is the Virgos because their bed will be crisp. Their clothes will be ironed. Their hair will be in a perfect little line. They got everything clean. They will fight you over that iron, okay? They iron their dog on pillowcases. Pillowcases got creases in them. Starched pillowcases and everything. Pants. If you walk around on the compound, you see everybody in their prison blue uniform, and you see that crisp down the line of the pants, that is the Virgos. Don't get into no argument with no Virgos. They will argue until the death. They will argue until like, they feel they got their point across. They will argue until they feel like they won the argument. If you are sitting in your bunk or your bed in your dorm room and you're in prison and you hear somebody arguing way in the day room, you hear somebody yelling and arguing, you can guarantee that that is a Virgo. They are probably arguing over the doggone iron, but that doesn't matter. That is them. They are the ones arguing the loudest, the longest until they win. Libras. Oh, the Libras. Lord, I'm a Libra. Don't go to prison if you're a Libra. You're going to get your feelings hurt, okay? Libras are the ones that want to be friends with everybody. And you can't be friends with everybody in prison. You cannot. 
Libras are the ones that people are going to be the first ones to call fake. They're going to say you're fake, you're phony, you're flaky, because Libras be in every single group. They're in this group for three days, they're in that group for three days, and they're not really trying to be fake. They just want to be friends with everybody, and you can't do that in prison. In prison, you got to stay to yourself, honey. You got to be in your own little clique. You can't be in all, I know it, I know it, I know it, Libras, but you want to. You want to fix everybody body's problems but you can't you are in prison take a seat mind your business if you see a group of women over in the corner in the dorm room of prison and one of them is crying on another one's shoulder you can guarantee the one whose shoulder she's crying on is a libra she wants to know your story libras all the libras want to hear your story they want to fix your problems they will stress themselves out trying to fix your problems but the problem is when you're in prison, everybody got problems and you can't fix the problems. So, Libras, stay to yourself, please. Scorpios! Scorpios in prison, you are going to know who they are because they will snap on you if you say anything. If you look at them in the wrong way, don't. Please, for the love of God, if y'all have watched any of my videos and you have a Scorpio in prison with you, don't skip a Scorpio in line because they are ready to fight. They're not going to play with you about that. You're not skipping no Scorpio. They will let you know about yourself. Scorpios are very black and white. They either like you or they don't okay this is what it is it's either right or wrong they're either happy or mad there is no in between with scorpios they either hate you or they love you now scorpios are typically very very good looking very mysterious okay you can't really read a scorpio they are who they are they might tell you about themselves if they like you if they choose that they like you, but they, they are in control of all of that. But they're hot tempered. So don't make a Scorpio mad in prison. Sagittarius in prison. Sagittarius next to Cancers probably have one of the hardest times in prison. And let me tell you why. Sagittarius hate routine. Sagittarius loathe routine. They loathe commitment, okay? And baby, when a Sagittarius goes to prison, you have a commitment. You have got a beautiful, very long, non-breaking commitment to the Department of Corrections. You can't move. You cannot change your mind. You cannot decide, I don't want to be in a relationship with this prison anymore. You are here to stay. And it makes them crazy. They don't like seeing the same people all day, every day doing the same thing. They want to travel. They want to go have fun. They want to leave. And you know what? When you're in prison and you're a Sagittarius, you can't go. So they're over there trying to make a party in this area of the dorm. and They just really are losing their minds trying to make something happen when they can't. Capricorns. Capricorns are very, very, very hard to read. You never know what they're up to. You cannot tell their emotions, and if they don't tell you, you don't know. You can tell a Capricorn when you're in prison because they're like the more sophisticated ones. They kind of think that they're better than everybody. Like, they probably should not even be in prison right now. They did probably did not even do what they were accused of because they wouldn't. And you never want to tell a Capricorn your problems in prison because they're going to make a joke of it and they're going to laugh about it because Capricorns have a very dark sense of humor. And even if that means at the expense of your pain, they will laugh at you. They're also quite pessimistic. So please, please don't when you're in prison, go sit on a Capricorn's bed and tell them about how all your troubles are, you know, never going to go away because they're going to tell you that you're right. That they're never going to go away and it's never going to get any better and you'll probably never get out. When you leave the Capricorn's bunk, the advice that you all have gotten will be worse than from when you went in the beginning. Aquarius, you're going to know an Aquarius the first thing when you get to prison. The Aquarius are the very weird ones. They're almost a little delusional. Sometimes you can't tell if they're just like really, really, really smart or if they're just like out from out of this world, like possibly even like an alien or something. The Aquarius are going to be the ones that are going to be out on the track on the prison field doing yoga, like zoning off and like coming back into the dorm and telling you that this is really just a vacation from life and that you should take this time and thank the earth and thank the stars and be grateful for your time away at prison. And you're sitting there crying like, I just got 
15 years in prison. What are you talking about? And they're like, but no. They will convince you of their delusions. They will have you thanking the moon and the stars and the grass and the trees for your prison experience and have you believing their weird delusions. You know the Aquarius when you see them. They're that people in prison. <laughs> and last but not least, the Pisces in prison. Pisces, <sighs> Pisces in prison are very sensitive, but they're also very manipulative. You can't really which to tell which way they're going in prison, okay? They will literally start a fight in prison and then try to solve the fight. You're like, what? You came and told all these women what they were saying about each other. Now they're in the day room fighting and the Pisces is the main one in the middle trying to talk everybody out of fighting like, I'm confused. What has happened here? They have a savior complex. They want to save everybody. They want to help everybody, but at the same time, they'll start a fight to begin with. So you're like, is it really my friend or is it not my friend? I can't tell. Pisces also need to be heard. If they feel something about you or if they have an opinion, they want you to know it and you better listen. You better sit down, grab a cup of coffee and listen to everything they have to say and you better pay attention. And they will also tell you if they love you or they hate you. You never have to worry with a Pisces. They're going to tell you they like you or they don't. Don't worry about it. All right, you guys. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you guys do not know, I am a Libra. My husband is a Gemini and he really does have the Gemini one and two personality all day long. Good Lord. <laughs> Jaden is a Virgo, like I told you guys, and Jordan is an Aquarius. So we got a good mixture here in the house. This was all for good fun. I would love to do this again, but other instances with prison, let me know if you guys are into that. If you're not, no worries. We'll move on to something else. But other than that, I hope that you guys like this video once again for entertainment purposes only, just for funsies, right, right? <laughs> Please don't forget to like this video. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. And until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.